All right, let's get to meteorologist Adam Claybon and talk about that full forecast. We know today was the hottest day. It's not like it's going to cool down by 15 degrees tomorrow, though. <laughs> right. I mean, only. maybe we get a degree or two mm. shaved off. It's still going to be hot, the hot day uh, that we expect that today kind of was, too. So we'll see highs pretty comparable to where they were. Plus another thing, too, that might help to shave a degree or two off of some of those highs. Some of that snow. We were smoke. We were just talking about the wildfires down in California. That's lifting northward and here. It's going to be in place. Thankfully, it looks like it's going to be high up into the atmosphere, meaning that we won't see much impact as far as air quality down here at the surface. Maybe a little bit in some spots, but overall, we should be okay with that. What it is going to bring some very beautiful sunsets here over the next few days. So air quality, you can see an air quality alert down across areas closer to Portland. That's where they'll have a lot more issue with that. Here around Seattle, maybe Tacoma, and then south and east of there, you're seeing some areas of moderate to possibly even unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups, not for everyone, but just something to keep in mind if you're going to be out heading into the day tomorrow. Most spots are looking like they are going to be okay, though, and looks like as we go into the day tomorrow, again, the main focus will be the heat. It's going to be around after today's highs reach the mid 90s out at SeaTac. We broke a record there of the old record of 92. Olympia upper 90s with 97 for a high and then 90 for a high in Bellingham. Those two also records for today's dates. Now tomorrow's chances of breaking a record going to be a little more difficult seeing how records are getting a little higher. Plus our forecast still going to remain around some of the same numbers 95 for a high and then as we go deeper into the week 97 and 103 for the records on Thursday and Friday. Our forecast is calling for those highs that slowly but surely begin to come down a little more. But a beautiful sunset here again. You'll see a little more of that in the sky, helping to produce a little more of those pinks and oranges in the sky for tomorrow. But Bellingham still pretty nice as you look at it right now. And then some of the last few rays of sunshine here in our Olympia School Net site showing some of the same. Heat advisory still in effect until 9 p.m. We got a while with this. You can see highs lower to upper 90s, so still pretty warm here across some of the areas shaded in orange, but it's here across Puget Sound that we don't really cool down all that much. Even though highs will be pretty close to some of the same numbers, we're going to only see those lows drop around the upper 60s to low 70s, so a little more of an issue when it comes to not really getting a break from some of the heat. Low 80s right now for the temperatures. We're still warm here at the 10 p.m. hour. 70 in Bremerton, 81 in Tacoma, 75 and ever, but hopefully I'm all the way down to 60 degrees. We'll see highs gradually fall into the low 90s heading into the beginning of the weekend Sunday at 88 degrees. Overnight lows tonight, low 60s, upper 50s in those areas in the heat advisory area around Puget Sound. We're going to see more of those mid to upper 60s. 94 on Thursday, 70s come back around for us Monday and Tuesday.